Okay, so I'm going to start sketching my line right here in my socket. Draw a line. Just like that. And round it out and then pull it down to your lash line. And we want the top to be nice and round. So this is the kind of shape we're going for and you can go with a you can go with a q-tip and clean up your lid because we want that to be sort of clean and, and next we're going to take a black shadow i'm going to take black tide with a small sony kashuk brush you can also use a 239 by mac you just want some like a paddle brush that's flat like this and i'm going to take this shadow in my outer corner And the shadow is going to go all around your eye to set the pencil in place. So concentrating in the outer corner and then swiping your inward so we fade it a bit. And then I'm going to take it close to my lash line in a diagonal shape. So taking it down on the lash line, so it gives us that nice pulled out cat eye effect. And quickly run the shadow over our pencil so we can set it in place. And then I'm going to take my Mary Kay domed brush and just blend this out in a diagonal shape like this and blend around the crease as well just so that we smooth out all the shadow so everything looks nice and blended so first go down and smooth out this color down here and then blend onto the crease Pick up a little more black and place it down here in this diagonal line and fade it inwards. Next I'm going to take this pigment by MAC and the color is Most Darling and it's a brown with a little bit of a glitter in it. So I'm going to take this pigment, I'm going to show you what it looks like basically a brown with a little bit of a shimmer through it <clears throat> and I'm going to apply this dry I'm not going to take a uh, primer or I'm not going to wet it or anything I'm just going to take this on my brush that I use for the black and I'm going to just tap it onto my skin Just like that and it gives the most beautiful sparkle and the black also has sparkle I'm gonna take my pencil brush from Mary Kay and I'm just gonna smooth over the black and blend down Go over the black just to clean that up, make sure that none of the brown, brown is sitting on it. And blend these two colors. Blend 
blending down in this diagonal shape. And next I'm going to take a liquid liner. And I'm just going to use the one I've been using lately. It's this one by Mark and it's a brand by Avon Cosmetics. It's in the color Cleo. I'm going to take this along my lash line. Just a thin line. I'm just going to take this e.l.f. brush and it's a really tiny paddle brush. It's really flat. It, I think it's the concealer brush and I'm going to take my gel liner on the back of my hand and work from there. So I'm going to take this and go like that. Go up. Turn it up to my lash line. Straight. Straight. Keep it straight. And out. Just like that. So you want that sort of a line. And then meet it up to the lash line and just continue going straight and out. Take a cotton swab and just clean up going outwards like that so that we have a gap right here. And then I'm going to take this pencil by MAC, it's called Fascinating, and I'm going to take it inside the waterline. It's a white pencil, but tons of other brands make them. So I'm first going to put it in the waterline. And then I'm going to take it out. Then I'm going to take this pencil brush by MAC. I think it's a 209. And I'm going to try and spread this white around. So next I want to put a little bit of white in here too, but the pencil's a little thick for me to work um, with in there and it's also a little chalky and hard to blend out. So I'm going to take this, um, it's depotted from the Makeup Forever 12 Color Flash Palette and I'm going to take that and I think I'm going to switch also to another brush. Um, the brush I'm going to be taking is this one that I already use and it's a pencil brush. So I'm going to take this and try to get it right in here like that and 
and a little goes a long way with this. And why not? I'm going to take the rest over here so it's nice and white. It actually does a much better job than the pencil did. And now that I have that like that, I'm going to wipe off my brush. And smooth it out. I'm just wiping off the top part with my finger. And also pulling it out over here. Trying to blend it out. And I'm taking my finger and just fading it out. Like that. Okay, so before I continue with my eyes, I'm going to touch up my foundation. And I'm just going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. take my Studio Finish Concealer in NC30. I'm just going to take this with a 224 by MAC. I'm going to go right under my line to clean up and conceal. So now that I've concealed, I'm going to powder my face and I'm going to use a Paul Mitchell powder. And that's just because I want a little more coverage today. So I'm going to use my regular bronzer that I've been using lately and you, you guys know it's the Revlon, I mean the um, Rimmel 002 Sun Love. I like it. It's not too orange. It's not too shimmery and it doesn't look dirty on my skin. So I'm just going to take this with my Ben Nye brush and it's the RB2. And then take the brush that I was using for my powder and go around the edges to make sure that it blends in effortlessly. It's 
it out just like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of a contour on the side of my nose. And I love this brush. It's from Sonic Kasha. It's a domed shadow brush. And it's their black line that um, has this curved handle. So I'm going to take a little bit of my bronzer on the sides of my nose and just contour with it so that I can slim my nose. Also do the tip, blend the sides out, and then go over with my powder brush and blend everything. And while I wait for my lashes to dry so I can cover up the glue, I'm going to take something out here, um, something a little on the silver side. And what I'm going to be taking is Silver Dust by MAC. So Silver Dust is just a silver dust and it has a little bit of a pink iridescence to it. Um, so I'm going to take this with a concealer brush and this is by Sonia Kashuk. Um, there's tons of, tons of brands do concealer brushes. There's this one by... Um, I mean any concealer brush just something flat like this and I'm just taking that pigment or dust rather and I'm just setting it out here um, so it has a little bit of its own sparkle not too noticeable but definitely there just so it, it doesn't look so matte compared to the rest of the look. And also taking it right in here. Okay, so I already went over my uh, lash glue so that um, in case anything is still showing, I already went through that and covered it up. Next thing I'm going to do is apply mascara and this mascara will just blend my lashes with the fake ones. And I'm also going to take a little bit on my lower lashes. If your lashes aren't that long and you do like how the bottom lashes look, um, there's these by Red Cherry and the number is 602 and they're bottom lashes and you apply them the same. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my lipstick and the lipstick I'm going to be using is this Extreme Lip Cream um, by NYX and it says it's not a lipstick, it's not a gloss, it's something like you've ever experienced before. It's liquid lipstick that goes on with full extreme color and intense shine. So I guess it's a lipstick and a lip gloss all in one. So I'm going to take this and this is in the color Nude Peach Fuzz. And now that I have my lip color, I'm going to choose a matching blush, and the one um, that looks that, and the one that would look best is Pink Swoon by Mac. If I place it right here, I can see that it'll look really nice with those lipstick, and it'll really pull the look together. So I'm going to take Pink Swoon. And then take my big powder brush and blend everything out. And that's the finished look guys. I really hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.